you are this evening. Um, we're just so excited to be here today as part of our Wellness Wednesday. You know, this is our um, 38th week of COVID. And although NJPAC had to close uh, because of COVID, we are really just on intermission. We are actually um, programming every single night of the week. Uh, we, matter of fact, we have 12 programs just this week. And we're hoping that you get in where you fit in. Uh, as you heard Omo uh, say, we have NJPAC in your living room. And so we want you to go there to see if there's anything that suits your, um, your likings to artistic, uh, creative um, expressions. We also have next week, uh, we will have Policing the Police. It is That's going to be a reason. conversation. That's good. It is going to be a conversation um, between um, many of our um, leaders throughout the state about how we are to cooperate and coordinate and uh, hold our police accountable. Unity in the community. That's what we're looking for. And so we hope you can join us on Monday. That information, I will pray, uh, I'll place the link in our chat this evening before you go. So check out the link. Uh, the chat from time to time. Uh, we also have next week an amazing teacher here. Uh, she is coming out of the Caribbean and we're hoping that you will join us again next week. But for today, back by popular demand, you know, we've had, this is our 27th class for the season. And um, out of all the classes, there were only two classes that had over 150 um, participants. And so we're just so excited that Judah Marable's class was one of them. The second class was Karen Love's class and her class is gonna be repeating as well on December 2nd. So you don't wanna miss that West African. But for tonight, we're so excited to have uh, this young man with us. He is going to be teaching us gospel aerobics, which is really uh, a rhythmic aerobic style movement like what we know in church as congregational praise. Uh, it is for spiritual encouragement and motivation. It is a routine and choreography. Uh, it is to gospel music, but it is a message that you are embodying. So Judah is a third year dance major at Montclair State University. He is earning his bachelor in fine art. Um, he has uh, had the um, uh, privilege to serve as an intern um, at ALE and uh, did uh, ALE summer camp. And he's actually working with them now for their Saturday program. He has been with EMEA in the past. He has come from and reigns from the Greater Allen Cathedral of New York. He started uh, with them when he was one years old as a top for Jesus. Um, they have a wonderful dance um, ministry there with over, it has had at one point over uh, 400 people in it. I think now it has 200 that dance all at the same time and they travel worldwide uh, doing this expression of dance, liturgical and gospel aerobics. Uh, that was under the leadership of Dr. Kathleen Turner. And then he uh, decided at 16 years old, I'm a dancer. And so he studied at Dance Theater Harlem, Maria Priatka uh, dance with Kyra. Um, and he has studied with um, Kyra Roof. He has studied with Sharon Miller Academy locally and Montclair. And uh, he has studied um, uh, at Mason Gross with uh, Rutgers. He has also been with Israel Memorial AME Church as their director. Uh, and they have a wonderful organization called ROAR, Reclaiming Our Adolescent Righteousness. So if you know any young people who are interested in dancing, got liturgical, you want to speak to him afterwards. We will um, add in his contact information. Uh, without further ado, let me introduce you to the teacher of the hour, Judah Marable. Woo! This is where <laughs> I wouldn't envision the applause coming if this was a, a television show or anything of some sort of entertainment. But hello, 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 everyone. It is such an honor to be back with you guys, teaching you guys gospel aerobics, which was briefly, can you guys see me? I kind of froze. We can hear and see you. Okay, I can't see myself, but glory to God. So it is great to be back once again. Um, some, brief, some brief things before we start. If you have anything to write with and you wanna take notes about anything, I would advise you get those 
as well as a water bottle nearby just because even though we are virtual i would hate to see anything happen to anyone so get hydrated get the notebook get the get the wash rag i see brother john cover the head all of that everything sweat all of that we don't need any distractions for what is about to go down in the next hour so like was briefly like it was briefly said my name is judah marable and i am walking in ministry i guess is the best way to say it because i find that ministry is a lifestyle well, I had to find out that ministry is a lifestyle. So I'm continuously walking in ministry. And while I walk, I find these little nit, nitpick things and I put them in my pocket and I hear things. And some things I disregard, but some things I keep with me. And one thing that I decided to share with you guys today is that some movement has power and some specific movement has power rather than me standing up and doing all of this great legs and ballet and technique and did it but it has no power to it rather than if i'm hurting and i show you and i show you hurt it'll resemble more to somebody who is hurting so i say all of that to say wherever you are whatever movement capacity you have if you have to sit in a seat the whole time it is all good in my end if you got a flag you got a tambourine you got anything you want to dance with your bed sheet I'm all ears because it's not coming to me. It's going straight to God. So before we start, I would like to pray in. And if you guys would join me in prayer. So Father God, we just bless you, Father God. And we thank you for this opportunity to give your name the glory once again, Father God. We ask that you humble our hearts, Father God. And you just come on in wherever we're empty, Father God. Father God, we ask that you fill us where we need you, Father God. And we thank you for where we don't, Father God. But we know that we need you all throughout our body, Father God. So we ask that you just consume us and hug us, Father God. We thank you for your everlasting arms, Father God. And we thank you for digging us out of our deepest situation, Father God. So as we minister during this hour, Father God, we ask that you bring up things that we don't want to talk about, Father God. We ask that you bring up things that only you know about, Father God. And we ask that you just help us release it, Father God. We ask for forgiveness, Father God, for everything that is not like you, Father God, coming in and everything that we will do that is not like you after this Zoom call, Father God. But in this moment right now, Father God, we thank you and we ask that you just hug us, Father God. You just consume all of us and we bless you and we thank you and we honor you, Father God, for everything you are doing and everything you are going to do. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Oh, I'm facing this way. Okay, so with that being said, I would like to just throw some scriptures at you guys before we start, just so you guys get the foundation of what gospel aerobics is, which is why I said bring the notebook, get the pen, you write on the napkin, so be it. So the first scripture I would like to throw at you guys is Genesis 1, 26 through 27. And I won't go into depth about all of these scriptures, but that first scripture talks about how we as men were made in God's image. And when ministering, we should minister as if we are mirroring God, as opposed to dancing for God, if that makes sense. So I'll come back to that. The second scripture I want to throw at you guys is Ephesians 2 verse 10, which talks about how we are God's masterpiece. God is so proud to know us as his own. And when we minister today, we'll go in depth a little bit about that as well. The third scripture is 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20, which talks about how our bodies are a temple. And that's self-explanatory. But if you need any clarification, the scripture is there. And the last scripture is 1 Samuel 16, verse 7, which talks about how the Lord doesn't see us as men. He sees our hearts rather than man seeing us as men. I see all of you as a person, but God sees us for our hearts. So all of these scriptures will come back into play. But the order of what we're about to do is we're going to stretch a really good stretch. We're going to do the congregational praise, do the do for a song. And then I'm going to teach you a tad bit of choreography, which you can incorporate in the congregational praise as well. So let me read through these scriptures once again. It is Genesis 1, 26 through 27. The second one is Ephesians 2, verse 10. The third one is 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20. And the last one is 1 Samuel 16, verse 7. Is everyone thumbs up? Everybody good on those? Am I making sense? All right, thumbs up. Now, the last thing before we start, 
I have a helmet because my God moves in mysterious ways. So this is to prep. This is, this is my preparation. So whenever I put this helmet on, that means do not look at me, do your own worship. That's all this means. Whenever you see me throw this on and I will throw it on sporadically throughout songs. Whenever I put this on and I tap it, it's your time. Do not look at me because I'm in my own worship. But when I take it off, my hair looks a mess and we're back in worship. Does that make sense? Everybody thumbs up on that as well? Thumbs up. Great. So we will begin with a stretch. And like I said, wherever you are, stay there. If you, if you don't feel like moving and you want to take this class from your seat, you are not hurting anybody. Let's start the music over. I'm sorry. I should have I should have expressed this earlier. I do eight counts of everything because I won't be talking. So just follow me. But it's eight counts of everything, right and left. So if I do neck rolls, I do eight, eight. Down, all of that is eight. So with that being said, let us begin and just follow because I won't be speaking. Oh, 
the net up. Let's go, Leopard. Move for me. Down. Now let's walk through the middle to the right. Let's walk in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and let's go. Go to me, down. Let's walk straight to the middle. Walk, 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 and hold. Walk, 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 and hold. And let's roll up. Let's roll up slowly, 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 slowly. Let's roll up. And shake everything up. Shake all the tension out. Shake all the tension out. Okay. Are we warm? Do you guys need hydration? Anything you guys need, take care of that. I will set up my helmet. Okay. So. Everybody good? Thumbs up? Everybody good? We got thumbs up across the board? Thumbs up. I see thumbs up. Good. Okay, so we will begin with the aerobics, gospel aerobics to the next song and just follow along. And like I said, once that helmet goes on and I do a little double tap, y'all time. We ready? Thumbs up. I trust the thumbs up.
A warm up. Okay, now for some choreography. Let's take two seconds. You know, and we are back. So, first thing of choreography heart on fire. One more time. Now, do a face in this one. Right? Left, fire. With burning desires is punching on your body, but not too hard. Burning desires, broken chains. First one is on chains to the left. Right, left, right, left. One more time. Heart on fire with Burning desires, broken, broken chains. We good? Any questions? I'm not looking at the chat, so I trust you guys. One more time. Hearts on fire with burning desire, broken, broken chains. Healing. Right, left, right, turn, point. This room. One more time. Heart on fire with burning desire. Broken, Ooh. broken chain. Healing. Left, right. I went the wrong way. It was right first. Grab the right. Over this room, point. Revival. This is a cross, chest up. If you could give me a jump, give me a jump. If you can't, the picture is here. This is revival. Revival, you hear. You know when a teacher scratches on the chalk, that, that irky sound? That's what I want. You hear, arm, right, left, right, left. If I lost you, somebody say something. Because I'm moving on. One more time. Heart on fire with burning desire. Broken, boom, broken chains. Healing. Right, left. Turn to the right, point down. Revival. You hear, you hear. And screech it. And one, two, one, two. That's the first phrase. Please repeat. Look. Burning desires. Yes, burning desires is. Remember when I prayed earlier and I said fill up all the all the empty. That's burning desires. 
Burning desires broken. Ooh. Broken. Straight answer broken. Any other questions while I am here? Please turn around. Turn around. Yes. And heart on fire with burning desires. Broken. Ooh. Broken chain. Healing. Right. Left. Over this room point, revival. You hear, you hear our uh, right, left, right, left. Can you do broken desire and the last one when you go here? I, I didn't get the word. Burning desire, broken, boom, broken change. Okay. Healing, that's healing. Straight through. Boom. After you. To the right. After you turn. Oh, right. the room, the room. Healing all over this room. Point that. And give me a little, give me a little sass with that. Give me a little right here. This is where I need the blessing. Right here. Yes. That was perfect. So this is the challenge. The first move, the first sentences we want to see. What does we want to see look like to you guys? If you wear glasses. You should be here. Not should be, but I wear glasses. So this is where I'm at. Cause I'm, I'm blind as a bat. We want to see who peekaboo. Read down the list. Whatever we want to see looks like to you. And then you start hearts on fire. Does that make sense? The helmet looks crazy. No, it doesn't. I mean, these comments. Okay. Any questions before we try? We want to see. Let me see everybody's we want to see. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. We want to see. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me get my seat. No, no, no. No, 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 no. We want to see. You guys, you guys are thinking inside the box. Scratch that box. Let's make a whole new box. We want to see. Glasses. The zoo, you know, you see stuff at the zoo. Um, opening something, windows, okay, windows. Um, I'm trying to think, you guys are giving me, and that's okay, it's cute, but that's in your box. We're in a whole new box. So let's think outside of your box into our box. We wanna see, we wanna see. I First thing I thought of was peekaboo. Woo, boom, hearts on fire. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. So let us see, and it doesn't have to be big. You guys are trying to give me like extravaganza. No, no, no. It, it could be petite. Peekaboo is petite, but it reads. I'd rather read than not read and be big, if that makes sense. So one more time. We want to see, ready? Five, six, seven. We want to see, boom. I missed it because I was doing it. Ready? One more time. Five, six, seven. We want to see boom. Oh, it's a little. We going to see because the music is quick. The music is very up tempo. So we will see. Da -da 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 -da. This is all. This is all how many
Do you all understand why I have the helmet? It just got crazy two seconds ago in my living room. <sighs> okay, so the phrase that is you guys is, is we won't stop until we see it. Now, the helmet comes back on. What does that look like to you in our new box? We won't stop until, you get it? I'm working, inside joke. But what does we won't stop until we see it mean to you? Let's see again, five seconds. Five, six, seven, eight. We won't stop until see it. And that is what you guys have to think about while I teach this next section. Next section. Hearts on fire. Let me pick this up. Hearts on fire. Give me a hot potato in your hand. Hearts on fire. Oh, it's so hot. Boom. That's the image. Let me take the helmet off. Hearts on fire. Your whip. You're going to pivot and you're gonna grab. This is a desire to the back. Burning desire. And I will face you guys and do it. Hearts on fire with burning desire broken. You go back to these broken chains and now they're getting a little bit loose. These chains that have been holding you getting a little bit loose on you. So you, you rattling around in them. Broken chain, healing. Healing all over this room. Boom. Same sassy point. Revival. Same thing. You here. Make this uglier. Ooh, it's getting a little bit uglier. And let the ugly show in your face. You here. All right. Same thing. Boom. 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 One more time. Hearts on. Hot potato. With. Burning desire, broken, boom, broken chain, healing, right, left, over, this sassy, wow, it's here, revival, you hear, oh, it's so loud, you hear, ah, uh, boom, 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 talk to me, how's it feeling? It was all right. It was all right. It was all right. Go ahead, guy. Um, from the top, really slow. Got you. So, we start with the we won't stop. And for the first, like two to four, give me a little freeze. We won't stop until we see it. Let's get crunk in. We won't stop. See it. Now you start with yours. We won't stop until we see. It get a little more crazy. We won't stop until we see it. Then it picks up. Won't stop until for about eight of them. Six to eight of them. And then it goes, we want to see. Boom. Hearts on fire with burning desire for you. Boom. Broken chain. Healing. One, two. Over this room. Slide it down. Three, five. Lo, you hear, you hear, ah, cry, two, three, four, did a transition, same thing, we want to see, boom, hearts on, hot potato, with burning desire for you, boom, broken chain, right, left, over this, right here, re-block, more. you hear, you hear, ah, Cry. Do, do, do. Whew. How are we feeling? How are we feeling? I see thumbs up. I see a lot of very thumbs slow. Up. Very slow. Very slow. I feel no, very no. slow. No, no, no. Speak against all the slowness in the room. Let's try it with the music. Whew. I am sweating. <laughs> And we will be starting from the We Won't Stop.
Be coming, the spirit be coming. Whew. Okay, are we good? Questions, comments, concerns. Before I look at y'all, thumbs up. Okay, I see one, see two, see three. That's all I need. With the music, actually, let's move on. Last one, promise. We want to see. I need a pose. I need like, how do I explain it? Like you guys are taking a picture. Do -do 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 boom, freeze. We want to see, boom, like a, like a NASCAR ra ra racer just drove past you. So, do -do 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 pose. We want to see, hearts on fire, throw that up. Hearts on fire, with, this is on the beat, so don't go off of my accounts. Right, this is, a, this is a little fall. Right, left, kick, boom. And that's a, that's a desire. Let that be a grab up. So, bird, D, for you, boom. Broken chains, now the chains are coming up. Throw it off. Healing, one, same thing, two, oh, Bro, this needs to be the most sassiest, like, like here, like in this room. Boom. Same thing. Revival. You here. Get uglier. You here. Out. Cry. Boom. 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 Same thing. So the only change is we want to see pose. The NASCAR hearts on fire. Your with burn. D. For you, and I'll show you guys that with the music. Burning desire for you. The chain is coming up. Broken chains. Boom, bop. And that should be on the beat as well. I will show you guys with the music. Broken chain. Whoo. Healing. Over this room. Revival. Same job. You here. You here. Out. Crap. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Let's hear it with the music so it makes more sense. Whew, I'm hot. Can they do it with the same energy the second time around if they don't want to go higher like you? Oh, absolutely. Let the, the energy is there. If the energy is stagnant, let the energy be at a high stagnant, not a low stagnant, high stagnant. So let me show you guys with the music. We 
Let me see it with the music. Because, wait, before I see it with the music, any musicality questions before I start or choreographic questions that you might have? Because I need to see y'all doing this as well. No? Silence? Are all eight of the, whew, can't see that one. Okay, wait, we won't stop. Okay, our own, yes. I forgot the helmet, but all eight of those are your own. So the dynamic of them, all personal, all personal. We, let's think about that real quick. We won't stop until we see it. What does that mean to you guys? Just out of curiosity, like two seconds. We won't stop until we see it. Huh, let's brainstorm, let's brainstorm. And if you've taken class with me, you know, I'm, I'm so like, my brain just keeps turning. So we won't stop, stop what? The work, the ministry, the, the prayer, we won't, okay. We won't stop until we see it. The fasting, um, the studying of scripture. Um, what else? You guys could just shoot. You guys could just shoot these out. Um, peace in the world, moving. Okay, unity. Okay, and just keep keep shooting them out. So we won't stop until we see it. What is it? Trusting. Okay, we won't stop trusting. Okay, loving our enemies. Okay, believing. Okay, and these are good. So now the question is, first, what is the it? I, I perceive that it to be the blessings from heaven, but that's how I see it like as choreographed. So we won't stop trusting, believing, studying the word, um, encouraging each other, all of this, until we see what God has promised, what the word says. Because the word, the word is, is in itself. And if you know anything about the scripture, it cannot return void. So we won't stop until we see it. What's the it? And that's kind of, see him. Okay, see him. I'm, we're getting somewhere. Change, transformation, liberation. Okay. So now, how do we translate that into our movement? We won't stop. I'm trying to think of a word. We won't stop. Let me see believing. Let's see everybody just do believing for the one time. Whatever believing looks like to you, let's see believing. Ready? Five, six, seven, and one. On the one, believing. Okay, so now let's see. We won't stop 
and then let's see that believing. So we won't stop. Five, six, seven, and we won't stop. Mm, it's a little, it's a little here with it. I see who is that? Not to call anybody out, but you know who just did this. I just saw somebody do this. Uh, that's a little bit in your box. I need the I need the box that we're brainstorming in. So we, when I see we, I see we, I see collective, I see, I see grabbing, um, encouraging, we won't stop until we see it. That's that's mine though. Nobody can steal that. So now I need y'all to think of y'all. We let's just listen to it. Let's listen to it for the one time. So you guys can get it in your system. Because it is a lot to think about in just an hour. Okay, one choreographic note I forgot to give you guys for burning desires on the second one. Pivot, no, pivot with no arms. Pivot, grab, grab, pivot on the second leg. So this is right, right, then I'm back here for broken chains. So burning desire for you, boom. Right into the, the broken chain. Okay, now let me see you guys do it. I have faith that you took that all into consideration.
Okay. Okay. I saw a lot. And I saw a lot of good things. But the thing that I saw is you guys were personally interpreting it. So you were doing stuff I would have never thought of because my testimony isn't you guys' testimony, if that makes sense. So whatever you guys think you're, you're in your head about, just go with it. Because I tell my dancers this all the time, but say we were in front of a congregation, people were gonna clap for anything. And when I say anything, Mary had a little lamb, wait in the water, sung in the worst octave, like they're gonna literally clap for anything because of church etiquette, but they're gonna get moved by certain movements. And that's why I started with what I started with, that your movement might, might shift something else. I could, I got all of it. Like in my head, I think I could jump over a rhino if I could, but I can't. But I say all that to say, my head and my body are two different, two different things. So when you incorporate, see it as glasses. These, these look like glasses, it reads, if that makes sense. So every, all of your interpretive movement is beautiful, but now try to make it read like English rather than dance, 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 dance. Does that make sense? If I'm, if I'm saying something, something crazy, please let me know. And if I lost you, please let me know. But now let's dissect the movement. Hearts on. Fire. This is like a little, a little fire blaze, right? Going to the right. I mean, to the left. I'm sorry, to the left. Hearts on. Fire. This is a little interchangeable, like, I think, of fire. When I see, see my hands go like this, speaking, yes. Okay, with burning. I already explained what this is. This is patching up everything that's holy in my body, in the negative connotation. Everything that is wrong with me, I'm patching it up because I want to see these chains broken. Boom, broken chains, healing. And if you pay attention to the motifs, at first these chains aren't coming off because when you're in the midst of struggle, it doesn't look like you can get off, which is why the second one is, oh, let me, let me bite the chain a little bit more. Let me, let me twist it around a little bit because that was coming off. And by the third one, boom, it's off. And that's what reads rather than Broken chains. I need to see like this struggle with the with the chain. Like you're trying to free yourself basically out of captivity. Broken chain. Boom. Healing. And this is this is just clearing the room. This is a general move. Healing all over this room point. That's sass. That's the sass right there. I need y'all to dig back into 10 years ago when you was moving with more hips. Boom. Right there. Revival, boom, general jump, what happened? You hear this, I said the chalkboard, but anything you hear that, ooh, that's just, it could be a good or a bad thing, you feel me? But when I choreographed it, I thought of the skirt down the chalkboard, and it was like, oh my gosh, you hear, cry, boom, 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 da, 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 you get second chance. We want to see, boom, hearts on. The heart is hot. Oh my God, it's just burning my hand up. Woo. Burning desire. Let these be grabs. Don't just. Desire. Broken. Boom. Broken chain. Healing. One, two. Over this room. Boom. Revival. You hear. Let it be sassier. You hear our cry. One, two, three, four. Da 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 and I need y'all best family reunion pose right here. We want to see, boom, hearts on fire. Yeah, it's going straight up. With, burn, D, for you. Those are the counts. And if you are confused by those counts, let me know, because I will play that back. But this is on burn, D, for you. Burning desire for you. Does that make sense? All across the board. Yes. yes. Burning desire for you. And I will do the move. Yes. So, the third one. Hearts on fire. With. Burn. D. For you. Boom. And now the chain is coming off my body. And you will see me let go of it. Because that is what will read rather than 
it's coming off. It's cute. You feel me? It's been, I've been holding on to it for the last 12 years, but it's cute. I'm going to just keep holding on. I need y'all to let that go because that is what's going to translate to the people watching it, which in this case is everybody else. Does that make sense? Uh, okay, moving on. Revival. Same thing. You hear, oh my gosh, it's louder because of our cries. You hear our cries. Cries are louder. Oh my gosh. Boom. Ba, da, 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 da. All of that. Healing. I, he I see healing in the chat. Okay. With that clarity, are we good? Are we, are we fine with everything? Confused? If you're confused, just please come off of mute. So I can. I think we're all good. Okay, with the music. And it is 8.30. We are great on time. Okay, everybody come take a seat, take a seat, take a seat. Get your water. This is what we call a two second intermission. <sighs> so, how are we feeling? I see a lot of sweat. That's a good thing. How are we feeling? Good, good. Feeling good, feeling good? I'm good, feeling good, good, Amen. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Would you like, would you guys like to see what it actually looks like? Because I have that video on yes. deck at all times. Okay, let me pull that up for you guys so you guys can see the vision more so. Give me one second. And then we'll have a little chit chat kick back after we do it one more, one or two more times. Um, hmm. This is where it gets tricky. Oh, I know where you guys are. Give me a second. Share the screen. Do, 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 do. Here. Okay. So kick back, relax, and yes. That's it. I'll leave it at that.
With that being said, we're just gonna go for it. So, enjoy your <laughs> little two second intermission. We back at it. <laughs> one time for the one time. 
<laughs> um, let me find the music. Did the video have a delay for you guys? Oh man. Yes, it did. Oh, yeah. Man. I'm so sorry. But you guys saw a little bit of the choreography, which is which is always good. Okay, one more time with the music. I will do it with you guys. Are all hands on deck? Is the virtual also ready? Is actually we got some time. Okay, if your middle name starts with A to M, you're up. If your middle name starts from N to Z, you're next. A to M, you're up. If you are not A to M, you are observant. Amen. If you're A to M, we want to see your faces. Take your names off and your faces on, and whatever you have to offer is awesome. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yes, middle name. Middle name is what I said. Yes. Middle name. If your middle name starts with A to M, and if you don't have a middle name, you are up. If I don't have a middle name, I'm up. If you don't have a middle name, you fall under A to M for right now. <laughs> <laughs> Please do it with them. Okay, N to Z, you are up. Round of applause, round of applause. Yes, 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 yes. Thank <laughs> you. 
So, how do we feel with all that has been taught? And I think the main, the main purpose of this class, in my opinion, was to teach you how to use your body to tell a story rather than using your body to show an image. Because a lot of dancing, especially when we started, that's why I said let's just scratch our box. A lot of our dancing when we, when we started just 45 minutes ago was a sketch of a blessing. And people really will look at a sketch and they will go, it's cute. But when you add the, the paint, the pastels, the color pencils, when you add all of that, people relate to the picture more than just seeing the, the shapes that created the picture. If that awesome. makes sense. Yep, we have Robin that has a hand up too when you're ready. Okay, and we will open, we'll open the floor up in just like four, four minutes, not four minutes, like two seconds actually. But painting, painting your body as a vessel is, is the main thing that gospel aerobics could help with. I, I definitely think gospel aerobics could help with painting your body as a relatable vessel, not even just a vessel, but a vessel that you see me minister or you see me dance or you see me do whatever, even shopping in the, in the grocery store, you see me and something cues you, if that makes sense. I think, I think that's the main purpose of what I tried to teach. I don't know how, how well it came across. Um, okay, thank you, thank you so much, thank you so much. Um, the the artist is William McDowell and the song is called The Cry and I would recommend the whole album it's a live album and it's just so it's a sketch it's it's easy to just sketch it but when you put the choreography and you put like what the moves mean hearts on we want to see hearts on fire is enough said so Painting, just painting the picture to everything you hear in that album, I would strongly recommend it. Um, but I think that is it. The floor is definitely open for questions. If you guys have any questions, dance related, um, gospel music related, I'm like a whiz when it comes to knowing gospel music and how relevant it is. I got like about an 800 song playlist just, just filled up with music. So if you guys have anything, any questions, anything like that, um, yeah, just share your thoughts about what happened and I will feel free to, you know, converse with you guys. So, you to unmute. Uh, Judah, I just want to say thank you. I really enjoyed your class and you said something that allowed me to free myself because most of the time when you see one who dances very well, that is trained, you try to emulate instead of trying to be what you just said, just dance to free yourself. Not, not, um, I hope I'm explaining myself correctly, but you said something that really spoke volume to me because most of the time I noticed that most people will try, I want to be like that. I want to be, no, what does free look like to you? What does, because you're free and your faith and wherever you are is made different. So this class really showed that. And I, I really, even though I couldn't keep up as much as I wanted to, I just want to say I really, really enjoyed your teaching, uh, the way you broke down the steps, the choreography coming out of the box. And, you know, it, it just was very, very good for me. And I just want to thank you. Glory to God. Thank you so much. Um, I can't, wait, where'd the view go? I can't, oh, gallery view. Okay. Um, Anybody, anyone anybody else? else would like to just share a anything, really? Well, Judah, I would just like to say thank you. Uh, you know, this is Big Brother John. We That's go correct. back a long, long, long way. But I respect you from a male perspective because I, this is my first time being under your teaching and direction. Um, I tried to apply this to the situation that we're dealing with since March. And um, 
trying to keep the faith, trying to stay focused, trying to break this chain because we're in a position that we're dealing with something that has never affected the world at the same time. No matter whether you turn to your right or turn to your left, that's a chain that has to be broken. But what's right. keeping you grounded is your faith. So I just thank you for being transparent in your movement because we're not here to duplicate what you're doing. We're here to take what God is using through you so we can be God's vessels. And I thank you for being the voice tonight because now I can leave here moving forward. I'm not saying that this was all about dance. It's about being freed up. And people should be able to see that freedom within you. Whatever your movement is, whatever you speak, that's your ministry. So mm -hmm. I just thank you and Reverend Aisha for presenting this forum to us, especially during this time. And may the Lord continue to bless you because you know where my heart is for you personally. But I just thank you for how God is using you and for all that you have touched and will continue to touch through your testimony of faith in him. God Amen. bless you. Love you big time. Yeah, love you too, Brother John. Amen. Amen. Um, okay. The floor is still open. We have nine minutes. And I don't want to just like preach to you guys for the last nine minutes. I'd rather the, the floor be open. Um yes, raised hand. Ms. Bird, you may speak, Ms. Bird. Oh, wait, Ms. Bird, you're on mute. I think because probably I was connected to my speaker. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. ma'am. Oh, okay, perfect. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you uh, for sharing your gift tonight. Um, kind of like similar to what John was saying in the, in the beginning of like the pandemic, I kind of like, lost my fire to dance and I just I really needed this tonight like especially like being as young as you are and I'm also like young and so it's like it's hard for our generation to stay grounded and to like stay using our gifts you know for God so I just want to thank you for sharing your gift and staying in what you're doing um and I learned some new moves tonight so thank you for that <laughs> amen amen Miss Andrea T Hi, everyone from Ecuador. Yes, Ecuador. Ecuador. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much to all the community to share these classes. It's the first time that I, I shared, like, sorry, with my, for my English, it's no good. You got but got I'm, I feel the fire of God inside me. In, in, in my house. I love dance. I, I, I dance uh, uh, science. Um, I'm, uh, ah, what, whatever. I feel the fire God. That, that, that's all that I want to say. And I, I want, I praise the Lord for your life, Judah. And thank you for sharing. And I, I say, I want to say, keep in doing this and wherever you are and whatever you do, you, you can do or where people you can share. Uh, uh, yeah. Thank you. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Thank you so much. Gracias. Yes, Ecuador. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. Glory to God for these responses. Yeah. I but, would just say, okay. Who, 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 who? Elaine. Elaine. I see Elaine. Yes. Hi. Hi. I would just like to say that this is confirmation for me because, you know, when the, the sister was speaking earlier, and she was speaking about how a lot of times you see different dance teams, different dances, and you look at them, you say, wow, you know, mine might not look like that. But in essence, I mean, tonight it just showed me because it's just been in my spirit. It's God is saying, just be you, just relax and let the me that's in you come forth. And just for tonight, this is confirmation for me because even, like I, I've been, I'm older now, and I've been dancing for a while, and you, know, you get to a point and you say, wow, Lord, I'm too old to be dancing now. But it's not about age. It's not, it is, as long as I have the mobility, you know, God has given me the strength in my limbs, I can move, and I can express the love that I have for him. Now I'm ready, I'm even more so ready 
because I, I relax within myself and I'm saying, okay, this is who I am. It's not about what anybody else does. It's what's in me, what God has placed in me. And I'm just going to let it flow and just go with it. Because like you were saying before, you know, the people are looking and it's, it could be a movement that you do. It's based on a, an experience that I've had. You know, the way I'm interpreting that movement. And someone, I believe, someone's going to receive it and it's going to bless someone. So this is awesome. This is so awesome. And I am so encouraged. And I am so looking forward to my next virtual class that I'm teaching. And the children, they are like sponges. I love it. It's like even more so with them because I was kind of stiff, but I think a little, because I wasn't really relaxing and letting the me come forward as much as trying to just teach them like word for word, like this movement for this, making it really simple. And I don't want to make it so simple for them. I want them to like be out of the box. Like you're saying, like seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years old to let them be able to express what's in them at this age, you know? So I am grateful and I am so thankful that I had the opportunity to participate with everyone from every area you're from you know god is good he's so good he gives us what we need you know he makes it available for us we just have to take advantage of it and i'm so glad i signed i registered Thanks. and i thank you i thank you so much thank you so much i want before we close let's just thank judah marable one more time we have and i want to thank him personally um some of you know last week we um uh, shared that we were going to have a gentleman named Justin Dominic, and he was scheduled to teach tonight. And he had a um, horrible accident, and he has, um, yeah, he broke his ankle. And so we didn't hear that until Friday. So we want to say thank you to Judah for jumping in at the last minute. We didn't want to cancel the class. We wanted to make sure we still had Wellness Wednesday because we need to stay well. Yes. during this season so thank you so much for filling in for your brother justin dominic i don't even know if he knows him but we're all we're all family right there you go um but madeline and uh rubina uh, have been with us the end every single class since we started uh why don't you close this out with a statement uh you have taken all the classes matter of fact we can't really have a class unless they're with us <laughs> it's not a good class if i don't see their faces there Thank you. Like share anything? Yeah. We thank you very much, Judah, for coming in. And, yes. and if you're related to, to Aisha, then you have a very talented, wonderful yes. spiritual <laughs> family. Yes. <laughs> oh, we are so thankful. I know everybody is in these classes. And you want to thank NJ Pack. Please feel free to make a donation to them yes. so they can support the artists. Yes. Absolutely. So that's the way I was going to close. We appreciate you again. Um, yes, we are related. That is my firstborn uh, praise. And I have a daughter uh, worship. They always help with everything. They both are actually uh, alumni of NJ Pack. Uh, Judah uh, actually trained in the jazz program when he was younger in arts education and honor went through the musical theater class. Um, and choir and dance. So uh, we believe in the programming at, um, at NJ Pack, And we're hoping now, now that it's virtual, that if you have some children, I see some of you, that you would consider um, incorporating our arts program into your lifestyle right now while we're in COVID. You don't even have to come to New Jersey. You can take the classes from right where you are. And I tell you, they're amazing. They're hip hop, they're music, every type of uh, genre. Just check us out on our uh, www.njpack.org and arts education has its own platform. And I encourage you, whatever young people you have in your life, this same freedom uh, that Judah has, that started right there at Arts Ed. Um, he was establishing his musicality there. His first music classes were uh, conducted at, um, at um, NJ Pack. So I want to thank you for being here. Uh, we do have opportunities for you to give. You know, while we're closed, we're not selling any tickets. So every Wellness Wednesday is really hopefully a gift to you. And it costs for us to make that happen. So if you want to give to an organization, this is the season of Thanksgiving. If you want to give back to NJ Pack, who's been giving 
thing. We have 12 programs this week. Again, everything is free. If you want to give anything, we are so happy to receive your gifts. Uh, we will share that information in an email uh, when we say thank you for coming tonight. And please come again. We're going to keep going. As a matter of fact, we have a huge Kwanzaa celebration prepared for you December 19th. Seven principles of Kwanzaa, seven different programs for Kwanzaa, including dance. So please come again. That is sponsored and was endowed by the Cooperman family. And we've had Kwanzaa every year because of the Cooperman. And we're so appreciative of all of what they've done and continue to do for us. And we're hoping uh, that you can join them and uh, match, yes, in your special way. Whatever you can give is, is great. If you can't give now, that's okay. That's why we're here to give to you. Uh, but on behalf of NJ Pack and all of our programming, we just want to say thank you for spending a Wednesday night with us. We have an amazing program tomorrow night. We have free form, open mic. So if you want to hear some artists, just go in at 7 o'clock. We have a, a producer, Katab Rollins. Uh, he will share some amazing programming. Uh, three artists, local artists out of the state of New Jersey, are going to come forth just like you did tonight. And they're just going to be free and share their gifts. And it's going to be amazing. We also have 10 newer creators on Tuesday night. That was just last night. And that was pretty awesome. We highlight one creative artist per night. But we have programs for all a week so get in where you fit in and hopefully if you love social justice policing the police we're going to hear from colonel patrick callahan he's the superintendent of all state troopers throughout the entire state and he is amazing he's going to let us know how the state troopers have been taking very good care of themselves but also uh, being very uh, genteel with uh, policing and we're going to hear from those who have been struggling with policing so it's a provocative conversation in a healthy environment, and we hope you can be with us. Please leave tonight. Stay well, stay safe, and stay masked. Yes. Bye for now. Thank you, Judah. We Thank appreciate you, Judah. you all. Thank, Thank you. Come again. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.